Most germination failures are due to skipping this step. So it is critical. Because they know y'all going to skip the step. Hey guys, it's Nikki with The Messy Homesteader. I'm going to show you how to cold stratify your seeds. No intro, let's get right into it. Okay, so what is cold stratification or cold stratifying? All these big fancy words. Cold stratification is just a fancy way of getting into mother nature's way. You're basically doing a Jedi mind trick on your seeds into thinking your seeds are going through a winter cycle so when the weather warms up, they can germinate, okay? So basically, the cold helps to break the dormancy that the seed is in. So when the warmness washes over them, they can pop up and germinate and give you some food, seeds, whatever that you're trying to eat. So that's all it is, okay? It's just getting the winter cycle going for your seeds, okay? Now, this is what you need to cold stratify your plants. So this is everything you need to cold stratify your seeds. Okay, you need some seeds, right? So I have a hard time trying to grow lavender. I've been trying to grow lavender for three years um, and unsuccessfully because I don't know how to read. And I'm gonna get to that in a minute. You need a paper towel, which is what you will sprinkle the water and seeds on. You need a Ziploc bag, okay? And you need water. And for the organized people that don't want to forget what they planted, you need a Sharpie or a pen, okay? Okay. <clears throat> so I've already started cold stratifying some seeds. I have some ladies' mantle here. As you can see, it's very important that you label um, your seeds, okay? And label them correctly, okay? Because I did it wrong and I had to make a mess and fix it. But our, I already have the seeds here. So you see the wet paper towel, you have the seeds, and you have the label. You'll notice I have the date that I started the stratification. And then, oh, that's the best. And then I have the date to take it out, okay? Because you don't want to leave it in too long because it might rot or mold. We'll talk about that later. This is my mugwort. I'm growing a lot of medicinal herbs and a lot of these herbs need to be cold stratified where I live. So I need to take these out January 11th, okay? Now you'll see there are two different dates. Although the start date is the same, you'll notice that the takeout dates are different and I'll explain that in a minute. All right, but let's go ahead, get this lavender going. Okay, I've been trying to grow lavender for years and guys this is really important look at this now you don't have to cold stratify lavender now this is these are just seeds i got from the big box store but i found out shout out to luke from mi gardener lavender needs to be cold stratified to germinate now you see on here nowhere in the instructions does it say to cold stratify and that's that's a problem that a lot of people have. Now, all my other seeds, now I get these seeds from um, Southern Seed Exchange on Etsy. They tell you from jump, cold stratify, cold stratify. So please, please read the packets on your seeds and then do a quick little Google search or YouTube search to see if there's another way to do it, okay? So we have our seeds. First thing we're gonna do is wet the paper towel, okay? Well, I'm sorry, first thing we're gonna do, this is what I do, fold the paper towel in half just to make it thicker, okay? Thick is good, because it's gonna be wet, okay? It's a wet paper towel. And if you don't, you got the cheapy paper towel, you definitely wanna fold it. I got bouncy, but I'm still gonna fold it. So you're gonna take the paper towel, shove it down in your Ziploc bag, like this, take your water, and you're gonna wet the paper towel. Now you gotta be careful with this, okay? You don't want this overly wet because that's how you introduce mold and rot. Now, Luke from Michigan Gardener, oops, he has a great way of determining how much water to add to your paper towel. So you see, I just poured some water in and then I sealed it. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press down on it. Let me put it down here so y'all can see. And I'm just gonna like, you know, your, your manipulating pastry uh, crust. And I'm just gonna just push all the water up to the top, up to the top, up to the top. Let me let some air out of here. Now Luke likes to call this having dry corners. So 
you underwater and then you push the water up and eventually the water will travel to those corners and that's how you know your paper towel is not saturated okay so that looks pretty good to me well no hold on i got a little bit of water right here you see a little excess right there so let me try to that's okay if you find you have a little bit too much water for your liking well if you're doing more than one set of um seeds stick a new dry paper towel in there to sop up like gravy think of this as a biscuit sop up all that little excess gravy in there okay and then pull that out set it down somewhere now we have our bag that's labeled with our wet paper towel okay now grab your seeds open your seeds carefully especially if you have seeds that are so microscopically <sighs> insanely small that um if you even look at them crazy, they'll just fly everywhere. All right. These are my lavender seeds. These are Munsteads. All right. Now, I'm dumping this whole uh, package in here. I got about four or five of them because I'm determined to grow these from seed. So, I'm just going to pour these in. Can y'all see? Let me see. Let me get out the way so y'all can see. Okay. Try to do it like this. Can y'all see? Okay. And just drop it in just like that. Don't be afraid. If you want to do half, I still hear some in here. Hold on. I want all these seeds out. Oh, okay. Make sure you get all your seeds out, okay? And just keep on pouring. All right. I think that's all of them. Okay. Now we're going to seal it. Make sure yours seals. Mine didn't because my paper towel's in the way. That's fine. Just push it down a little bit. Push it down, reseal. Is that in the way? Yeah. Now I don't know if it matters if there's a a, a clean seal. I just want to do it. Now we have our seeds on the wet or damp, I should say, paper towel. Now some of the seeds go rogue and want to be, can y'all see, off the grid or off the paper towel. Just you no, know, gently coerce it back on. Or if you be a little rough. So long as it's touching that paper towel. All right, hold on. Get in there. Get in there. It's on the back. That's fine. It's still touching the paper towel. So you got one on the back, okay? Now, rub your hands across the seeds. It'll be all nice and bumpy. Make sure they're all wet. They're making contact with the paper towel. Seal. Label. Lavender. I have what I'm. Uh, what the seed is. The date I put the seeds in the bag. And the date I should take this out so I don't forget. And voila, you just started your cold stratification for your seeds. For your seeds. How easy is that? Now, let me answer some quick questions so we can get out of here. Okay, so now that you have properly cold stratified or started the process of cold stratifying your seeds, you got to put them somewhere. Now, you can just take these, stack them up, and just throw them in the fridge. I don't recommend doing that because if y'all always have a clean, organized fridge, to you. Me, we have leftovers, kids in and out. My seeds need protecting. So I put my seeds in my kids' old lunch box or bento box just to keep them protected. And it lets me know that, oh, every time I open the fridge or something, I see this box. I know that I got seeds in here, okay? My seeds aren't stuck under some old Chinese food, you know, or, you know, some spaghetti from two weeks ago, or, you know, some rotten uh, bananas. So you keep your seeds nice and protected. And that's it. Now, let's answer some questions. Number one, how long should you cold stratify your seeds? Now, I've heard so many different answers from books, from YouTubers, from master gardeners, and nobody knows. Let me tell you why. Because I have looked at, look at all these seeds. These are all the seeds I have to cold stratify. Okay, a lot of them are herbs. And every single one has kind of something different. Look at this one. Cold stratify for 30 days. All right. What does this one say? 30 day period. Oh, that's the same mix. Plantain. Cold stratific stratification. One to two weeks. 
Elderberry. Yes, I'm growing elderberry. 60 days. Cold stratification. 60 days. Okay? So, and it goes on and on. Marshmallow. Four to six weeks. Now, I got these seeds from Southern Seed Exchange on Etsy. I really like them a lot. Um, so that's there. I don't know what their source is. I should email them and ask them where, they, where do they get their source for their timeline. But I have seen lots of different times. I'm going to go by what the seed packet says. And if I get a lot of conflicting information, I'll go by the earliest time. And then each day I'll check on it to make sure the seed is doing okay and then pull it out. So for me, I'm going to do like maybe three weeks um, just because I don't know why. I'm just picking three weeks, but that's it. Was that a sign? Okay, so in terms of how long do you cult satisfy? 30 days to six weeks is the range. So make your own choice about that. Uh, what can you cold stratify? Not everything needs to be cold stratified. There's a lot of things. So for seeds that need to be cold stratified, um, I'll just name a couple of the popular ones because I'm, I'm growing most of them, but there are there are a lot more. Um, John, a lot of your herbs, medicinal herbs especially, St. John's wort, wort uh, milk thistle, uh, lemon balm, of course, lavender, marshmallow, motherwort, Mugwort, ladies' mantle, elderberry, uh, verbascum, milkweed, plantain, alliums, these strawberries, especially pineapple strawberries or alpine, the white strawberries. I lost all of them last year. Uh, lemon balm, milk thistle, and lavender. So there are more, but those are some popular ones where I know a lot of people are trying to grow lavender and they're having problems. It doesn't say stratify on the package. You would benefit greatly from doing that. Do yeah. I need to wet the paper towel? Can I just throw my seed packets in the fridge? You can do whatever you want. But do you want seeds? Okay. You got to mimic mother nature. Okay. If you just throw the seeds in and they're not wet, thinking you're replicating mother nature, mother nature is going to sit back and be like, hmm, I'll wait. And you'll get nothing. So you, the seeds need water. That's part of the winter cycle because during winter, the ice, it melts and, and then there's rain. So you do need a damp, you need, some, you need some kind of moist, damp medium for your seeds to make contact with. So part of that, derm, part of that cycle can start breaking down the dormancy of that seed, okay? Next question. Does it matter if I put the seeds in the freezer or the refrigerator? Well, from all the books I've read and from all the um, big YouTubers um, in the gardening community, there's not a right or wrong answer. Some do freezer, some do refrigerator, and both get germination. So it depends on what you're comfortable with. I would say go where there would be less disturbance to your seeds and where you would be able to find them, okay? Um, if you got, you know, 200 pounds of deer meat in your freezer, you might not want to put your seeds in there. It might be kind of hard to navigate, you know, then one little hip bone of the deer falls down on the seeds and, you know, well, it's frozen, but still, um, so for me, I prefer the refrigerator. So I know some people say that the freezer is too extreme. Some people say the refrigerator is not enough. Um, in the end, nobody asked the seeds. So if you're worried, do half the seeds in the freezer and half the seeds in the refrigerator. Do your own experiment to find out what works for you and then keep it moving, okay? Uh, so th and then finally, what if I don't satisfy those seeds that need to be satisfied. Well, good luck with getting them to germinate, okay? Anyway, I hope this helped you out and took the mystery out of cold stratification. If you're struggling with growing certain plants or seeds and you've done everything right, chances are you left out one important step. As a matter of fact, <laughs> on one of these, this is why I love uh, the seed exchange place that I go to because it tells you, uh, if you have problems, it's because you didn't read, <laughs> but they say it in a nice way. Listen, y'all, I like a seed company that tells you the truth, whether you want to hear it or not. Now, this is mugwort, and it says here, 
probably the, the company probably put this on here because they've got so many phone calls saying my seeds are germinating what's wrong with your seed and they were like uh i need y'all to see that hold on let's see most germination failures are due to skipping this step so it is critical because they know y'all gonna skip the step and just throw the seeds in the ground and then be sad you know two a couple months later anyway guys i hope this video was of some help to you guys in cracking the mystery of why your seeds are not germinating especially your lavender this is nikki with the messy homesteader i'll see you in the next video